As Paul was writing about spiritual warfare, we understand that when we preach, we are in a battle. Warren Wiersbe taught me that every morning when he got up, he dressed in the armor of Ephesians 6. Sometimes we forget what follows the armor that we are to wear so that we can stand, stand in our faith, stand for the gospel, stand to preach. This is how he follows it. And with all prayer and petition, pray at all times in the Spirit. And with this in view, be on the alert with all perseverance and petition for all the saints, as for everybody, and pray on my behalf. Paul is begging the church at Ephesus to pray for him, that utterance may be given to me in the opening of my mouth to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains, that in proclaiming it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. If we're going to be fervent in our praying, we need people to join with us. Jesus said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I'm in the midst of them. One of the things I do is I send an email out and ask people to pray for me. I tell them what I'm preaching on. I ask them to join me in prayer that God would use the preaching of the word to pierce the hearts of the hardest heart, that he would open the ears of those who are deaf to the gospel, that he would open the eyes of those who cannot see the love of God that is poured out through the life of Jesus Christ. Paul prayed. If, if Paul asked for this, all of us should ask for this. We should ask our congregations, we should ask our friends to join us in prevailing fervent prayer that when the word is preached, it bears fruit. Paul says, I'm a proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm asking you to partner with me in this proclamation. Paul, as great as he was, the great apostle who wrote most of the New Testament, knew that he needed the prayers of the saints. How foolish it would be if we stand up to preach on Sunday and just assume that people are praying for us. Ask them to pray, expect them to pray, and then watch what God does in a prayer environment. I promise you, prayer will make the Word of God come alive in the hearts of people that normally just let it go right over their head. Paul said, Pray for me. Pray for your pastor. Pray for whoever stands in your pulpit on this Sunday.